Well, hi, boys and girls. I think I have a way to get my box of plants up onto this greenhouse shelf. And I'll show you as soon as I get it around the corner here. Now, boys and girls, it's time to wonder. Here's the show that makes wondering fun. Uncle Wonder's Workshop. And here he is, Uncle Wonder. And here we are once again. And it's so nice to see you again today, too. Say, have you wondered about what I'm going to do with these two big boards right here? Well, good, because I'll bet you have a pretty good idea already just how we're going to get the plants up, don't you? Why, of course, instead of lifting the plants straight up to the greenhouse shelf, you know what we're going to do? We're going to slide it up, and it's going to be a lot easier. Why, sure, it's a lot easier to do it that way. Well, it may take a long little longer, but it's a lot easier and a lot safer, too. You know, you have to be very careful lifting things. If you lift heavy things the wrong way, you're just liable to hurt yourself, especially your back. Say, would you like to know how to lift heavy things so that you won't hurt yourself? Well, now, the important thing is that you bend your legs just like this. Now, you keep your back nice and straight, boys and girls. And when you have whatever you want to lift, you just stand up with it in your hands like so, keeping your back straight. Now, if you lift heavy things like this, you won't hurt your back. Now, let me show you how I lift heavy things, all right? Well, first, of course, I bend my legs, get a good grip, and come up without bending my back. Well, some things are just too heavy to lift, I suppose. At least my plants are, that's for sure. But now, if I can't lift it straight up, I'm going to try to get it up by pushing the box up these boards. Now, as I said, it will take a little longer, but it will be a lot easier. Now, let's see, shall we? First, I'll lift this one in. Oh, there we are. Should be just about ready now. Now let's move right around this way and we'll start to push it up the boards to the top of the greenhouse shelf. You ready? Oh, it's still a little bit heavy. easier it was, too. I'll just move it back a little bit. There we are. Now we have more plants in the greenhouse and everything is going to look real nice after a while. Now tell me something. Have you wondered why it was easier to get the plants up the way we did? Remember, as I said, it was a longer way from here to here but the important thing to remember is that it was easier to do the work that we had to do. Now here, let me show you something with the ruler that I have. And I'll show you that one way was the real short way, but the hard way. The other way, of course, coming up the boards was the longer way, but it was much easier. Now look, from the floor to the top of our greenhouse table, it's just this high. Can you see that right there? I'll see if I can bend the ruler a little bit. And that says 30 inches right there. But coming up the board, look how long it is. Like that. And you can get a pretty good idea from that, just how long it is coming up the board, how short it was if I were to lift it straight up. But of course, that was the hard way. This was the easier way but the longer way. Think you can remember that now? Now, you know, actually, there are lots of things that make work easier to do, boys and girls, and they're called machines. That's right. Now, these two pieces of wood slanting up to my tabletop are really machines. This is actually called an inclined plane. Now, inclined means slanted, boys and girls. 
So, you see, by taking the long way up to the table, as we did, the job was a lot easier. Now, how about you? Can you think of any other times when it's easier to go the long way? Well, how about the boys and girls who are climbing the mountain? Now, if they all climbed up the straight up side of the mountains, how hard it would be. It would be a shorter way, but would be so much more work. So you see, going the long way up the mountains saves us a lot of work. Now, can you think of any other places where an inclined plane, such as we have, is used? Well, most freight yards use inclined planes, or ramps, as they call them, to load their cars. It's easier than lifting it up without a ramp. Say, have you ever seen a freight yard? Well, maybe someday we'll wonder how they move cars in the freight yard. And you know what? I know another place where I'll bet you didn't think we could find an inclined plane. Have you ever taken a drive in a car over a mountain? How high some mountains are. Now, which way do you think would be easier for our car to go? Up this steep side, straight up the mountain, or around and around the mountain until we got to the top? Well, it's the long way, but it does save a lot of huffing and puffing. And our car will last longer, too. So you see, our inclined plane, being the machine, actually does work for us. And it makes the work so much easier. Isn't it pretty wonderful when you stop to wonder about all the machines that we find in our everyday lives that make work easier for us, such as this? inclined plane. That's right. See, I was just wondering. I wonder if we can make an experiment to show how inclined planes make work easier for us. Well, fine. Come on. Let's go in the workshop and we'll try to see. I guess I better find a place to put the board so that I don't fall over them if the lights ever go out again. about to it. Well, now, first, we need an inclined plane. And that ought to just about do it. Why, of course. Now, we have to slant it to make it an inclined plane, don't we? So, let's do it just like this. We'll put it up against the side of our workshop wall. But there is our inclined plane right here. Now, over here, I need something else. <laughs> know what that is? Why, of course. It's a roller skate. I just fixed it for one of my nephews. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a rubber band around it, and we'll see what we can see. Now, let's see. I need a rubber band. Oh, here we are. Rubber band right there. Now, what we're going to do is have an experiment. Say, isn't it fun to experiment, boys and girls? Just think, someday you may be lucky enough to be a scientist, and then you can do experiments all the time. Now, our slanted board is like a mountain. You'll see how much pulling we would have to do to get the skate from the bottom of the mountain up to the top. All right? Here we go. You ready for our trip? Off we go. And just look at that. Look how far the rubber band stretches, and it's quite hard to pull the skate all the way up to the top. You like that? Now, let it back down. Slowly. Now, I'll tell you what let's do. Let's keep this board up. This will be our steep side of the mountain. Now, what we're going to do is we'll take a longer board. Let's try this one right here. We'll take a longer board, and this will be our long way up the mountain, and we'll see if it's any easier. Now, are you all ready? Here's the skate, here's the rubber band, and we're ready for our trip. And up we go. Hey, look. The rubber band isn't stretching near as far and it's much, much easier to get the skate up to the top. 
you see. Actually, we had to go a lot farther, but we didn't have to pull on the skate very much, did we? Now, you want to see that once again? Well, all right, let's do it this way. Let's take our long hill down this way, and we'll use our steep hill to get up the mountain once again. Can you remember what we're calling these today? Well, that's fine. Inclined planes. Now watch. You'll see how much effort it takes to pull the skate up this steep hill. Just like so. Now see how far it is? Way out here. And as I said, it takes pretty much effort to pull the skate up. But when we take our skate down, and use the long board. Once again, remember, it makes our way longer to the top. You can see how short this would be, just like we were measuring from the floor to the top of our, our uh, table in the, in the greenhouse. It's very much shorter this way, longer this way, but very much easier. Watch, here we go with our skate once again. Now see, the rubber band's only stretching out just about that far from the skate. Sure enough, it's much easier to pull to the top. Well, we know now that an inclined plane, ramp, or gangplank, or anything that is slanted can help us move things a whole lot easier. We take the long way, but we get to as high as we want to go with a lot less huffing and a lot less puffing. Now, I hope you'll wonder about machines that can make work easier. This inclined plane, remember, is a machine. Why, of course. And you can have a lot of fun with it, too. Seeing for yourself how easily the skate is pulled up the long way. The longer way to the top, but much, much easier. <sighs> Say, you know what? I know another machine that can help us do our work. And all we need is well, let's see, this little strip of wood should be sufficient as one part. We've used this board right here. Now we need something else, too. Well, I know what I better do first. I better put this roller skate away before I forget where I put it. Two glasses. That's right. A little glass, we'll put it right here. And the big glass, we'll put right here. Now, you know what? I bet you're wondering, what in the world is Uncle Wonder doing? How can he say this board is going to make a job easier for us? Well, it will. Why, of course it will. You think about it for a while. Wonder about it? Maybe you can work it out yourself. Maybe we'll find out together next time that we visit. Until then, boys and girls, so long. And remember, it's fun to wonder. <laughs>